Joe Papey. I'm with the uh, Studebaker Drivers Club and the Avani Owners Association. And we're just delighted with the uh, arrangement we have here in Birmingham. And we have one of the nicest lineup of cars we've had in years. And uh, everybody is very enthused and very anxious to participate. Even the guy upstairs kind of cut us a deal, so we're we're just thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with the whole thing. And I just wish everybody has a very nice day. Good morning and welcome to the 19th annual Woodward Dream Cruise. Here we are, uh, Woodward Avenue, old Woodward Avenue actually. Uh, looking forward to a beautiful day. Um, here with my turquoise Avani, my turquoise shirt, shoes, and name badge. Having a great time. Uh, looking forward to a nice day, a lot of different cars. An old pickup truck parked in a field. Faded old paint on American steel. Rusted iron frame sinking in the weeds. To my teenage eyes, it was a driving dream. Grandpa Jim towed it up. Got under the hood, kicked over the engine like I said he would. Hi, really happy to be here at the Woodward Dream Cruise. She wasn't real pretty, she wasn't real fast, she was all I needed. Janine. Hi. This is Ray. Look at him. Glasses. This is Keith. Oh. Hi. And I'm Pat. This is uh, Dave Flame here in uh, Birmingham, Michigan at the uh, Woodward Dream Cruise. Uh, one of the things on my bucket list before I die, one of the things I wanted to do and finally made it. So here we are amidst this uh, sea of humanity and all these Studebakers. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful place to be. And the, uh, the Michigan chapter is, uh, is perfect. They're welcoming. It's like uh, old home week here. Uh, this is Ruthie. This is a 1962 uh, Studebaker Lark Daytona. Uh, it has a sky top in it, but it's not. It wasn't original for the build sheet. It's got a 64 259 in it with a four barrel, a dual exhaust, stainless steel, 331 rear end, two speed automatic transmission, 1500 watt stereo with a DVD player in it. It's got a kicker box in the trunk, and I went with a whole bullet theme on this car. So you'll see the. the uh, the rims have bullet caps, the mirrors, the steering wheel has been customized with a lot of bullet stuff, bullets in the speakers. I just went bullet crazy. Hood scoop, it's off a of Trans Am, turned backwards. Yep. I got a truck grill in it. Wonderful day out here in Old Woodward. You can't beat the weather, the crowds, the cars. Good stuff. Unbelievable, all these beautiful, gorgeous cars. And uh, even Steve has his uh, car that draws lots of attention. This is Captain Video here. I'm here with my 1951 Studebaker. It's all uh, stock. It is an original car, unrestored as you can see, complete with rust spots and everything. Go. 
pickup truck parked in the field faded old paint on american steel sitting like a statue of the better times that old rusty man trusted friend of mine Let me tell the story, I can tell it all About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol His daddy made the whiskey, son he drove the load When his engine roared, they called the highway thunder road Sometimes into Asheville, sometimes Memphis town The revenue was chased him, but they couldn't run him down Each time they thought they had him, his engine would explode He'd go by like they were standing still on Thunder Road. And there was thunder, thunder over Thunder Road. Did you bring your car, honey? Go no. On. We got the Hogan's dream too. It's much nicer oh, yeah. here than uh, being on Woodward where I was. I couldn't. It was fine in Ferndale. You ladies having so fun? We're hungry. You're hungry? <laughs> yes. Julie, are you hungry too? Just, just a little bit. We had oh. a big breakfast at Leo's. Well, here we are in Hogan's parking lot, and we're really hungry, so let's go eat. I really appreciate y'all coming out. Treasurer's report from Vita. We currently have a balance of... I make a motion we accept the report. I, I second it. I'll make a motion we accept the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're going to print a document that I'm going to send you that, uh, about the acceptance of the scholarship and whatever from the college. Um, last month, we saw the criteria that we listed. And that's, I want to thank Joe and Kathy for setting up this uh, lunch of today. This is yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. And then for uh, arranging spaces for everybody that brought a car out. Really? Well, we're going to let you do it again next year, Joe. <laughs> right. No, we're, we're, we're just under a year from the Crossroads only, which is next August in Dundee, Michigan. And uh, we set up things with the hotel and got rooms locked in. And we've had a flyer that we put out last May in South Bend. And uh, there's some things we need to do as far as forming committees. We've had people talk about the interest they have from Ed, Linda, we're going to do registrations. Uh, Vita was going to get uh, local folks to contribute to goodie bags. And we're going to get real serious on this. We, we based our timeline. I have a little pamphlet. We're going to hold a little meeting between a few of us that were on the committee. Uh, a timeline to follow something like Northeast Chapter did on when you got to get things done. We're getting where we have to decide on committees and we're going to look at getting the registration form done. To get it interning wills by Christmas time. We definitely have this to hand out next May in South Bend. That's going to be our last big blast to the group to have another table in South Bend handing out our registration forms. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, T-shirt design, uh, you name it. Every, everything you've seen when you've gone to international meet, same thing's going to happen on a lot smaller scale. It's basically a two-day meet where they're all day Friday, all day Saturday and sometimes it ends with a breakfast on Sunday morning. That's something we can decide about how we want to do that. But right now we've set it up. It's holiday in Splash Universe in Dundee, that's on M50, and US 23 in Dundee, Michigan, right next to Cabela's. Well, then I guess the only thing we have left is uh, draw a number for our 50 can I close it first? All right. We, we used to have, at times, have the youngest person in attendance pick from the hat. We're going to flip that around 180. Ray. Ray. Oh. Ray's the oldest guy here. It's a blue ticket. All right, there's a start right there. It's a blue ticket. Yeah, but I can't read it. Hang on, hang on. Well, take one of your own. Want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. Number is... Three, seven, four, four, eight. All right. All right. That's a big, that's a big pop. That's a big pop.